Cesar Cornejo joining us now. A lot of the locals know some of that history, but most folks would never know, so we appreciate uh, Craig's awesome reporting. Definitely, Nick. We continue to just see how amazing it really is here in Utah. But the one thing that isn't very amazing is this inversion. Still really over top of a lot of areas right now. Can really see here in the Salt Lake Valley just all of that hay still hanging around over top of us, not looking great. And that's really going to be the one thing that continues to hang on tight for us. So we'll have air quality issues as well. And clouds start to roll in, but not much in the way of any kind of precipitation with it. And looking at the long term as well, we're going to stay quite dry. Temperatures have plummeted into, below, whoa, into the 20s, teens, and even Close to single digits in Logan. Look at that, already at 10 degrees and continuing to get colder as we go throughout the night. So that's something to keep in mind. We're expecting to see a pretty chilly morning once again. So frost is expected in your car. So don't forget to break out the scraper. Again, high pressure, very calm air, allowing for that inversion to hang in. Missing out on some of that snow that's making its way into the higher elevations over in the Pacific Northwest. But for us, we just have that inversion hanging around. Expecting to stay in the moderate for many counties in northern Utah, northwest Utah as well, but over in Salt Lake County, that's where we're actually going to be the worst with that code orange and unhealthy for sensitive groups day, but over in the Uinta Basin, a little bit on the clear side. High pressure continues to hang around for us, really, not allowing any of this precipitation to move on in. Even with some of those higher elevation showers that do slide in towards parts of Wednesday, it's really not going to be that much of an event. So that's going to be something to really keep in mind because we're not going to see much in the way of any kind of snow in the near future. Looking at the school day forecast, it's going to start off chilly, but get warmer as we have wind starting to move on in. But after that, we'll see a dip well into some colder temperatures for us, and that's really going to be what we expect to see, not only just for the next five days, but also going a little past it after as well. Overnight low is going to be chilly once again, and will be slightly warmer than average heading into the day tomorrow. St. George's seven-day forecast, we'll see 50s, 40s by Wednesday. Winds will pick up. Gap winds can be an issue for us as well on Wednesday, so please keep that in mind. Wasatch Front, we do see that haze hanging around on Monday. Breezy conditions will help keep us on the clear side by Tuesday, and some mountain showers possible by Wednesday.